topic this week is about competence or competency. Uh, definition would be quality of being competent, adequacy, possession of required skills, knowledge, qualification, or capacity. Uh, he hired her because of her competence as an accountant. Uh, so re regardless of the industry you might be heading into, uh, you know, there is a expectation of competency. Um, so in our case here, you know, college students, when someone goes to college, there is an expectation that the student graduated high school and knows how to read, write, and possess other basic skills that provides them the ability to perform at the college level. All right. Uh, when someone applies for graduate school, like going after an MBA, here too, there is an expectation that the student possesses basic skills, such as English grammar and other skills that provide the student the ability to complete graduate level work. And with that, um, you know, the question is, well, why is there a compet competency expectation? Uh, you know, and part of it is to, to learn the next step in becoming professionally competent in a chosen career path. And with that, uh, you know, so why go to college or why go to trade school? Uh, you know, there, you know, uh, in our case, you know, we're basically doing, you know, business programs, but there's other, you know, professions out there. And all those professions require some sort of training, uh, college work, depending on what it is. Um, you know, but, you know, many believe it's to get a college degree. That's why you go to college. I'm going to get a college degree without any other purpose in mind. All right, just oh, get that piece of paper that says, hey, I'm a college graduate um, without any other considerations, uh, you know, but, you know, I'll, I'll tell you that it's not about the degree. It's about learning and becoming proficient in a specific field. You know, in our case, business administration could be anything, uh, you know, uh, doctors, surgeons, you know, they go to school, they, they get proficient in what they do, uh, regardless of what the occupation is. So again, why competency? Uh, you know, employers expect professional competency. When some, when they hire you, they expect, um, you know, you have a certain level of skill level. Uh, if you're hired for a job based on having a degree, the employer has an expectation of professional competency, that you know the material. Uh, if you have an MBA, they expect that you know uh, things. Uh, they hire you on, they tell you, hey, run an ad campaign for product B that you will know how to do that uh, because you have an MBA all right so that that's the thing you know you you are expected to have a working knowledge and material be it in a bachelor's uh, program a graduate degree or a, a trade to trade degree all right uh, you're expected to know how to do research uh, write proposals create profession create and present professional presentations in addition to the, jo the overall job itself so there's a lot of expectations uh, you know, you should you should expect nothing less of yourself. All right, you should not cheat yourself by just getting by and graduating in whatever program you might happen to ever be in. Uh, you should learn the materials to ensure that you are prepared for the future, uh, the future job interviews, the future job you're going to do. All right, uh, you should earn your degree. You know, not buy the degree. And I say that because some students just get by and they get a degree, but they don't know anything that they're supposed to have learned from the particular program they were in, all right? Uh, so competency, you know, to be successful in anything you do in life, you must be proficient and competent in whatever it is. And, you know, so my advice is, you know, be competent, be proficient, stay focused, and accomplish your goals.